Hey, this is Keys from Sports Vibes, and I'm coming at you with my first podcast. And today, I'm lucky enough to have my cousin, Max, on here with me. So, Max, just give you a short little introduction about yourself. Let him know you are. Yeah, I appreciate you for having me on. My name is Max Edwards. Um, I'm a senior at Georgetown University. I also play football there. I play receiver. Um, I'm from Germantown, Maryland, born and raised. Um, So... How I got to Georgetown pretty much. So I was an undersized receiver coming out of high school. Um, I was fast though. We ran a little pro, uh, pro style offense. We didn't throw the ball like at all. I remember games where we ran a ball like 50 or 60 times. So getting recruited was tough. So I had to go to all these camps and stuff. Um, I ended up going to this local school, Georgetown. It's like 30 minutes from my house. I was Bro, bro, bro. You did not just say this local school, Georgetown. Yeah. You just gonna <laughs> yeah. you just gonna gloss over the fact that you got into Georgetown? I mean, it, it is what it is. I don't know. I mean, I got there. I'm I'm doing well academically and stuff. But I mean, without football, I wouldn't be in the position I am today. So I'm just trying to. I'm not trying to give it too much praise. You know what I mean? I hear you. I hear you. But you know, Georgetown is a pretty prestigious, you know, college. Yeah. So I wouldn't just yeah. gloss over it. You know, your yeah, grades so had I, to be up there to get in there. Like, did you go there off a of scholarship or were you just a yeah. walk on? So um, I'm on scholarship there right now. Um, actually, though, I feel like my grades in high school probably wouldn't have got me there. I'm doing better at Georgetown than I did in high school. So like I was just saying or- earlier, football was a big part of me being able to be in a setting and realize that like these top schools and stuff like that. I mean, I feel like a lot of people have the opportunity to do well like I have. We just don't have the means, you know what I mean? So. So was um, Georgetown the only school that recruited you or were there other schools that were reaching out? No, nah, I was getting recruited by Yale, Dayton, Davidson, um, Georgetown, uh, Brown, and then Columbia. I wouldn't say Brown so much, though, because something happened there when, um, during the recruiting process that just kind of dubbed the whole situation. Mm-hmm. But, like, I had some options. Anything there. you want to expound on, or you just want to leave it at that? I mean, I don't know. I had a, I mean, I'm not going to say no names, but I, on Twitter, so I was using Twitter to try and get recruited, but a coach who went to a certain school ended up like subtweeting me because I was asking him questions about like a camp and stuff. And he like sent me this little rude comment back. And I was like, all right. Then I saw it on his Twitter like an hour later, like quoting, but he wasn't, he, he didn't at me or anything. So I'm not going to do that. So to you him, were getting subbed by the recruiter. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. So like, I don't know if they were still messing with me, but at that point I was like, it's a dub. Like I had some other interests, like not, nah, I'm not trying to go out to Rhode Island anyway. So <laughs> it, it all worked out. I like where I'm at. I love my coaching staff, all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm in a good space. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. And you mentioned you're from Germantown. So that's what, a suburb of Baltimore? Yeah. So um, we're actually like 30 minutes from Baltimore. Um, I live in um, Montgomery County, Maryland. It's the suburbs out there. We're near like Gaithersburg. I went to high school in Bethesda because that's school. I went to Georgetown Prep. No, I didn't have to go to Georgetown because I went to Georgetown Prep. But that's just how it ended up working out. Um, it's this little private school that's like 30 minutes from my house. I ended up playing football there. I ran track there. Um, and that helped me get through that school and get to where I'm at today. All right. That's dope. That's dope. Cause I'm, I know I've, I've been to your house a few times, but it's been a yeah. while. So yeah, it's, nah, it's, gonna, it's on the same spot. Same so, same spot. Well, yeah. I remember, I remember there was one time, uh, I went down there and if you remember correctly, there's like these green things by the, yeah. the gutters of the house. Yeah, the big joints. Yeah, and I guess, you know, when it's hot out there, the frogs hide under there. Yeah. So one time I went out there and I dug under there and I pulled one out and I actually brought it into the crib. (laughs) Yo. (laughs) Hey, yo. What did my mom say? I I was just about to say that, bro. Listen to this. I I, I had it. I put it down. And I think at this time you had like gray carpet or or white carpet or something of that color. And your mom saw and she flipped out. And not only did she flip out, the frog hopped a couple steps and then it peed on the carpet. Yeah. I know, Bro. She, I know she was not happy about all that. Bro, I was scared <laughs> straight right there, man. Never <laughs> again did I touch one of them little green things. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that definitely sounds like a crazy little situation. But about those little green things, we actually chopped them down like two years ago. So there's nothing there right now. Oh, or? I actually, I've never seen a frog over there. But that's funny that that happened. I know my mom will have something to say. Yeah, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. So now 
getting more in depth into the being to a being a college athlete like how does yeah. your typical schedule go because i always wondered you guys play yeah. saturday you know and then how do you guys fit school in and how do you guys fit all those other extracurriculars I mean, it's not easy. So, I mean, we're talking about like an in-season schedule after camp. So it's like September. Classes just started picking up. So my schedule is I wake up at 6. I'll go to meetings at 6.30. Uh, meetings end at around 7. You got to get dressed and stuff and go to the training room from 7 to 8. Get ready for practice. You want to get out there probably 15 minutes early because coach will want you to catch balls. So 7.45, we out on the field. 7.45 to like, I would say 10.30. Um, is about how long the practice usually goes. After practice, you got to shower and stuff around 10.30 if you can eat. depends on your class schedule. But I'm going to go with one of my busy days, which is when I have three classes. Mm -hmm. um, I'll get out of practice. I'll try and go eat. Um, it'll be like 11.30 at this time. I got class at 12, 12 to like 12.30. After that, I got to go get my books from the crib because I haven't been back to my, like, to my spot yet. Got to go get some books. I got to go to class probably at like two again. Then I then I got um, so from two to three, I'm in class. And then after that, we have our optional lift, which is, you know, I mean, optional. So, um, yeah, quote unquote so optional. three, I'm walking to the to the athletic center, do that from three thirty to four thirty. We lift in shower again, get out at five, eat a little bit. But I got class at five thirty, so I can't take too much time. That's my third class of the day. I get out of there at like probably six thirty. In between all that, if I got office hours, I got to talk to a teacher. I got to figure out how to do all that in, in between all that. And then I get back, I eat dinner, and then I got some work to do probably if I didn't do it over the weekend. And that's just like a regular day. But usually my weeks are like four-day weeks because I got to travel on Fridays. Mm. So, I mean, that's kind of messed my class schedule up a little bit because sometimes I got to miss like six classes if we in a whole season because we got six away games. And some teachers don't even want me in the class if I'm doing that. So then I got to change mm. my class schedule. So, I mean, and that's just not counting any other um, obligations I have. There's definitely more that come up on a day-to-day -day basis, but, I mean, it's a lot. But you just got to adjust to it, you know. Okay. Uh, and so I know right now you're a senior. So as yeah. a senior, do you pick up a larger responsibility when it comes to leading the team, especially now what's going around with the Rona hitting? Yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know how other teams do it, but my team's got like a like a, a system. You got the captains, there's like usually four of them. Then you got the leadership council, which is just like groups of guys, pretty much like two people from each class that are going to represent your class and whatever they got to say on on certain things. Um, I'm gonna get my charger from my computer. No, no, do what you got. But do. so I'm on this little leadership council where. Um, as a senior, I've been on it for a couple of years now, mm -hmm. but we just kind of make sure everyone's doing what they're supposed to do. Um, you guys are going up after the uh, Coughlin yeah. approach. Exactly. He had the leadership so, council when we won the chip. Exactly. So I got to um, make sure that the freshmen are straight. I'll be checking up on them, make sure that they can handle all, the whole schedule that I just told you about. Mm -hmm. But with COVID and stuff, what we've changed all that to. It's pretty much like we just try and stay in contact with them, try and make them stay motivated um, and make sure that if some of them are coming to campus, that they're not like feeling like they're all alone. There's like since I'm from the area, I can like have guys at the crib. You know what I mean? If they don't feel like it, your mom's not going crazy with people coming over to the crib. Oh, I mean, OK. So like, I mean, she is, but <laughs> I'm not even going to hold you. Like I haven't even had that conversation with her yet. But if it has to happen, it's got to happen. You just gonna have to make that work. Going to confine know? everybody to the basement. Yeah, because they're my teammates, so I got to I gotta show love. Yeah, you got to do school. what you got to do, especially you being a senior. Exactly. And we live in exactly. the crazy times. Yeah, I know what it's like, especially, I don't know what it's going to be like for them with COVID, but I just know that, like, as a freshman, when all this stuff is happening and you don't, like, you feel like no one's guiding you, like, it's good to have an older guy. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because if you're a freshman and, you know, I mean, even, because most schools with freshmen, they try to make them stay on campus. So how is that going to work now? So it's been changing like on a day to day basis. But right now there's going to be some freshmen on my team who are going to be on campus because they already applied like before mm -hmm. um, things change with COVID and stuff like that. So there's going to be a couple freshmen, but honestly, no one's really going to be on Georgetown's campus. So they're going to be bored. They're going to be homesick. I mean, it's our job to make sure that like they feel like they got a community there. They feel like they're being productive and make sure that they can stay on top of their work. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So they have control. Go ahead. Finish up. 
Yeah, because that's the only thing that we can't control is just what I was saying. Mm. So have they given you any information on where they're moving forward with the actual schedule? Are um, they going to move push I'm everything happy. back to the spring? Are they going to actually try to get games in during the fall? Yeah, so right now they're looking to push it back to the spring. Falls Which would make sense. Canceled. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. Like from an individual standpoint, I'm a senior. I'm on track to graduate. I don't mm -hmm. know how that looks. And then from like a season standpoint, it's like, okay, if we have the season in the spring, then what? Are we just going to have another season in the fall? We're just going to have these, you know, like how how is that going to all work? Plus, COVID is not going anywhere and mm -hmm. we don't have a vaccine. So like there's just a lot of questions that no one has the answer to. So we're just trying to control what we can. Yeah, and I'm sure you find yourself in a weird spot being a, a senior. Yeah, for sure. Especially since I'm trying to go to law school. Um, I'm trying to go to law school like in New York for real. So that kind of changes my options as far as a fifth year with Georgetown, you know what I mean? Because I'm ready to go see something else. Like I'm not a, like if I get into a law school, I'm going to go. What so, law schools have you been looking into? I've been looking into for like New York, um, mm -hmm. NYU, Columbia and Brooklyn Law. And then I'm looking at Cali too. So USC, UCLA, uh, Southern University, it's in like Southern Cal. And then uh, Berkeley, Stanford, but I'm not even gonna put that out there cause you're not like, I don't know if I'll get in there. But, um, and then Texas. You gotta put that out there. You gotta speak it into existence. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Good. But yeah, I'm, I'm studying for the LSAT right now. I'm trying to get ready for that. Yeah, Texas might be the wave, man. It might be. Everybody's I mean, leaving all these blue states, spot. man. They try and go get that tax free. Oh, I mean, I feel you with the taxes, <laughs> but especially with everything going on, with, like during COVID and quarantine, like yeah. as far as social justice issues, I don't know about going there right now. Like, I know Austin's a good spot. It's liberal. Yeah, yeah. Austin, they say it's pretty liberal. I'm not just about to only be in Austin. Though. That's never how I've been. I got to go see everything around me, you know? So true, true, true. I just want to feel like I'm comfortable. Yeah, yeah. That's that's very important. Definitely in these times, man. Things are getting crazy out here for real. No, Even in real. New York, things begin crazy, man. Yeah, how's it been like in New York's like because I know at the beginning of this y'all was down bad. Yeah, uh, bro. When I tell you every night all you heard were ambulances. Woo, woo. Right. I'm like, bro, this is getting crazy. Crazy, crazy yeah. part is your grandpa is a soldier. Cause I, I went like when it started calming down, I went down yeah. there to grandpa. I'm like, yo, grandpa, you was cool down here with all them yeah. sirens going off crazy. He was like sirens. I was like, I mean, I heard them, but I didn't know what was going on. I, I'm like, bro, I'm like, Grandpa, those are the ambulances. They picking people yeah. up. <laughs> he was like, oh, but I never even made the connection, yo. But he out here yeah. making moves. He hopping in calves. I'm like, yo, Grandpa, what is you doing? Yeah. He's okay. yeah. You yeah. know, he's we, we got we all his organizations. Go ahead, we say it again. Him out the calves. I said we got to keep him out the calves. He's too old, like to be doing all that, especially with everything that's going on. Yeah. And I was really I, like I was worried about all y'all, especially like with what was going on but like especially like grandpa like because mm -hmm, grandpa up there like yesterday was his birthday i know it's turning 88 yeah like jeez mm -hmm. praying for that man yeah and he yeah. hopping in out of cabs going to these but i mean he he runs all these healthcare organizations which is yeah. dope but bro like i got two webcams up here i could bring one down zoom somebody yeah. You ain't gotta hop a in a cat, huh? You want a mask? At least? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you yeah, know I'm yeah. I'm in the I'm in the midst of it, so I bring him all the Bet. supplies he needs and Bet. all that. That's what's up. Appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. Really. Definitely, bro. So I'm, I don't want to keep you too long. I'm gonna Thanks, wrap sir. it up here. All right, man. I definitely want to bring you back on though as things progress yeah, nah, and things move forward. All right. For, for update. I appreciate you having me for real. Let me know when it comes out. I'm a promo. It. You know what I mean. Definitely, oh, definitely. Cool. Maybe we could do this like a, a monthly things. We Not can do an update as the NCAA makes their decisions and things like that. All right. All right, bet. All right, man. Love you. I'll see you. Love All you, bro. Right. I'll see you. Peace. Yeah, uh, I believe. Nappy hair, my black is beautiful. I put my soul in this shit. My flow is musical. My people been through so much and shit is doable. This is some try to keep.